everybody. I'm back uh, from this afternoon. So, here we go. I'm about to attempt to make some easy cheddar. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm about to try to make some easy cheddar. Easy cheddar or EC right here. So, we're about to see what's going to happen and what's going to go on. I'm standing right here outside the exchange. And before I go into the exchange, I'm going to check my inventory. Uh oh. I hit the wrong button. No, I don't want that. Right, he picked me all the way up from over there. So, what I'm going to do is try to make some easy cheddar. What do I have here that I can get rid of? That's right, I got that. So, what is this? bound to me. It means I can't get rid of it. Oh, no. Epic inventory. So. What can I get rid of? Getting rid of one of those. It's 20. So here's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go. Uh, maybe I'll go here first. See what I can do to get rid of some of this stuff. Because I need to get make some easy money right here. Easy money. Easy money. Customize my ship. Let's see what we're talking about here. Customize the ship. Uh, look at that. That is the Rukia. Look at that. Nice design. I always love this one. Says Rukia, look at that color. Don't y'all like that color pattern right there? That is so sweet. But let's see what we can get here. Interior. No, I don't want that. Um, don't need to repair ship. Don't need to select ship. Ship equipment. Let's see what that is.
can't sell it. Oh no. Green weapons, tech upgrade, get cannon weapons, cannon consoles, use on ground weapons. Uh, really? I need to sell something. This happened. They just pulled up that music. I'm gonna move. Get out of here. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's a party time. Hey, let's go ahead and join the party. Oh, yeah. Party, 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 party. Oh, yeah, get it now. Yeah. Woo. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Yeah, work it. Work it. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, wow. I don't know what caused that. Oh. Okay. What the heck? I was part of the party. <laughs> Who brought the party? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Click on Stone Party. Look at that boy. He's walking around. Oh. oh, look at him. He's busting a move. He's busting a move. Oh. All right. Whatever brought that on, I have no clue. Uh, let's go. All right. So I thought I was going to make some easy credits, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be what I need to do. So what I'm also going to do is go back into my inventory. Go into the store. And, oh, inventory. That's what I need. Inventory. Let's see what what my assets are. Oh, I have no ore. Hmm. I have no ore, so. Well, whoever joined here, oh, he's gone.
I figure out what replic the replicator does later. But what I'm about to do now. Is I have another thing that I can do, and it says I can do it now. So, turning completed missions, new officer, hail stop fleet to report. So, I'm gonna turn in this mission right here and choose the reward. Choose reward. Can't have too many engineers on the starship. Uh, so I'm gonna choose the alien engineering officer candidate right there. Oh. I'm about to head and leave the he's pretty good, but uh I'm gonna go do this one. Hell Star Fleet. I'm gonna return to the ship. And then we're gonna go out. That was gonna make some easy EC. But I think I'll make some easy derillium. So, guess what? We're out, dude. Definitely prepared. Got new warp, new tactical console. No, I don't have a new tactical console. But what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna change my weapon here. Damage. 
now I'm trying to figure out what it is. Half duration versus player. We got it. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Going to go. <coughs> okay, got astrometrics on. We're gonna get moving. Ah, uh, here. Yeah. So. system. Where is that at? while I'm getting there. Look at that. Talk to my crew. Talk to nobody. That makes it winning these things real bad. You can't talk to nobody. Hidden dangers lurk in space. 
Mm. And the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict. But there are many who oppose peace. Ooh, that's where we're going, huh? My friend sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. A thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Mm. Nice. That's what I've been trying to do. Alright, all we have to leave the ship's interior. Because we should be where we need to be right now. Wow, I expect 22 minutes already? Going through these sectors is like sometimes driving, <laughs> cross country driving. <laughs> Go from one state to the next. Several sensors indicate several groups of Orion Syndicate trip patrolling near the computer satellites ahead of us. Continue. I'm trying to con contact the surface of the Orion using the community.
with a tachyon. This is Lieutenant Meryl Paris requesting immediate assistance. Klingons and Orions have beamed in and taken hostages. I only just no. escaped myself. Beam down to my coordinates. This area should be safe for now. Oh, how come I smell trap? 
Don't do it. It's a trap. Oh, wow. So, here we go. You ready to go down here? Let's see what we can do. We're going to beam down and see what we can get. Careful, pop in. Now I gotta speak to the ambassador. There she is. I'm go. ready to assist you. Okay, let's not ask the question about these are questions about yourself. Doesn't matter. They're hostages in this thing. So, what is the situation, here, Lieutenant? A group of Klingon operatives is attempting to sabotage the peace conference. They're planting explosive charges throughout the grounds, and they have Orion Syndicate yeah. forces as backup. There are Federation security forces here on Regulus 4, but they're outnumbered and outgunned. Okay. So, we need to get the ambassadors to safety. We can't free the diplomatic team from the embassy until the grounds are secure. Stopping the Klingons and deactivating those explosives are our top priorities. Only then can we get into the embassy. So, I have to defuse all spatial charges. So, we're going to continue. Alright. Let's go figure out what we need to do. All right, this way. Just pull out the weapon. Let's go. No, I don't want that. Yeah, I want the rifle. Come on, man. I don't need a peace shooter. I need rifle and fire. Check for anomalies, because I might be able to pick up some stuff. trying to fight a beast. Alright, there should be some Klingons around here somewhere.
they took care of them. Now let's go find these charges. We're gonna go up the walk here. Colonists. Alright. 
man. There we go. You're welcome. All in a day's work. again there you go baby yeah I would think you'd be feeling much better now What's happening there? I don't know. That was a weird glitch right there. Pulled me right back. Oh, I hate frontal assaults. I'm ready to assist you. Okay, I got a question. I'm not fluent in Klingon, so I gotta ask this question. What there is this? There is an ancient Klingon religious text that says the Kuvama, or Savior, will lead the Klingon Empire back to glory. There are a lot of prophecies about the Kuvama. Some say the Klingons will know him or her before the Kuvama knows the world, and that the Kuvama is stronger than sickness. Before I was born, Voyager encountered a group of Klingon pilgrims looking for the Kuvama. They were dying, and the doctor used my genetic material to create a cure for them. And to some Klingons, that proves I'm the same for the sea. I'm ready to assist you. All I want is to be a good Starfleet officer. For every Klingon who wants to worship me, there's another who wants to kill me. It's hard to have anything resembling a normal life. Yeah, it must be tough. I'm part Klingon, and I've never hidden that. But I'm part human, too. All I've ever wanted is for the species I come from to be in harmony. If I could find some way to reconcile the Klingons and the Federation, 
then I'll believe that the stories might be true. <laughs> Until then, it's a case of mistaken identity. Yeah. I'm ready to assist you. Okay. Is it true you're from the Delta Court? Or? Not exactly. My parents, Tom Paris and Bellana Torres, were on the USS Voyager, which was lost in the Delta Quadrant for seven years. During its journey home, they married. I was born as Voyager reached Earth. I consider myself a child of the Alpha and the Delta Quadrants. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to assist you. Were you assigned to the peace conference? The Klingon Empire requested my presence at the peace conference. Starfleet thought that it would be a good idea, so I was temporarily reassigned to Regulus IV. I'm no diplomat. My day job is Chief of Security on the USS Kirk. Honestly, I'd rather be back on my ship. But if being here helps the Federation and the Klingons find a peaceful resolution to the problems, I'm happy to help. Mm. Okay. I'm ready to assist you. Okay, what do you recommend we do now? My tricorder shows no more spatial charges in the surrounding area. I'll stay here and help with the relief efforts. Okay, so what's Just next? Just before you beam down, the leader of the Klingons, Captain Takur, entered the embassy and took the Federation diplomatic team hostage. He says he is waiting for a worthy adversary. Think you're up to the task? Oh, Lieutenant Alexander. <laughs> Alexander! <laughs> oh, so I guess I gotta fight a Klingon. Really? Okay, so we hit continue. I'm ready to assist you. I've got to go into the embassy. So let's go. Wow, these cue points are really off. So I'm going to enter the embassy, and Lieutenant Alexander has to fight a Klingon. Really? Ah, oh, sir, ship scanners indicate for Federation. Diplomats inside. They appear to be guarded by numerous Klingons. Really? 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 I recommend you defeat all Klingon guys and their diplomats before beaming them up to avoid an unfortunate transport of this act. We don't want to rescue Klingons by mistake. <laughs> These weak Klingon guards could be Federation diplomats to safety. Really? I think I might need to change the gun here. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to change my gun. I'm going to change my gun. Change it back to the sniper rifle. Take care of these in here. I'll go back to that gun. 
because the gun did not work the way I thought it should. So, I'm going back to that gun. about to get rescued. All right, I knew the Federation wouldn't let this happen to us. Goodbye. So we gotta clear this by room by room. taking you out. Alright. So, let's see what's here before I rescue you. Open locker. But I'm gonna get uh, a small hypo. Take off. Can you actually do that? Open locker. I'm gonna fight it here. Take all. Take all that stuff. What here. is a Kuva Mach anyway? Yeah, uh, goodbye. <laughs> don't have time to explain, because I don't quite understand myself. You were here on patrol. Really? No, we were just called here, baby. See you later. Get aboard the Rukia. Alright, time to cl clear out this side. Now it's time to clear out. Father up to fame. Father in the building. Get ready to go. Oh, man.
getting close. That's close. This and they got war dogs. And guess what? I'm not gonna wait for you. this again. That was not cool. I can't get that because the inventory is full, right? Really? The Klingon ambassador Koss tried to help. He beamed up to his ship when he got overwhelmed. Okay. Get it now. God dang it. Ah, 
Yes, we might. Get out of here. So we're being held by the Klingon ship transport to Bay V3 now. I'm sorry to be quiet, I'm just grinding this out right here. You fight well, not as well as a Klingon. We have no equals in battle. I <laughs> am Ambassador Koss of the Klingon Empire. I wish to meet with the Kuva Mach on Regulus. However, another of my Empire's ambassadors, Bavat, leads a noble house that is the enemy of my family. Wow. Bavat has used this opportunity to plot my death. Well, with friends like that, you don't need enemies. He is behind the attack on your diplomats, and he will pay for his dishonorable treachery with blood. Bavat travels here from Kronos in his flagship. He will be here any second, and we will fight him together. Kapla! Okay, no problem. Let's go get it. I like to put the real life there, the Rukia through paces. She's a soul reaper. Come <laughs> on. 
pattern alpha. Here we go. Seems you have won this time. Mm, but yes. there will be no peace between the Klingon Empire and your Federation. So who is the real victor here? Uh, really? Our fight is just beginning. I look forward to our next meeting. Really? And he works out. Yes, I saved them. Mm. It appears Bavat has fled, Captain. At least we're able to unravel his plot to save Lieutenant Paris. She is apparently more important to the Klingon Empire than she realizes. And the question is, it's time for me to leave the system. It's time for me to depart the system. All right, so I'm about to depart. I'm out of here. And it's time for me to head back to the space dock. Lieutenant wow. Paris is reviled by some Klingons and practically worshipped by others. <laughs> it's a difficult situation. She does the best she can. I'm glad you were there to help. Mm. Okay. So I'm turning it in, and this is what I get. I get 2,600 experience points, 900 expertise, a neutrino deflector array, uh, a field stabilizing warp core, and 384 dilithium ore. So, cashed it in. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you. I am now a level nine. So, somebody needs to tell me what that ring around the mini-map actually is. So, 
If somebody can actually help me with that, that would be great. Great. But I'm going to head back. Black course. Head back to space dock. Starfleet has received a communication from a servant of one of the Klingon great houses. She claims to have vital information about Klingon war plans, and she is willing to exchange that information for relocation to a planet out of the Empire's grasp. Your orders are to go to the trading station in orbit of Argelius II and make contact with an Orion named Marta. She'll be waiting for you there. That area is a hotbed of illicit activity. They are in Federation space, so Starfleet has authority over them, but they sometimes resist our efforts to enforce the rules. You are, uh, really? Proceed to the treasure trading station on our rigorous system of Beta Quadrant and Locate Monitor, a defector from the Klingon Empire. We received 2,600 experience points, 1,300 expertise, energy dampering armor, and that's physical and 384 ore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept that and it says good luck lieutenant and I'm still going to go back to Starfleet right quick and do what I need to do at Starfleet and um, that's basically what I'm going to do. Huh. on here welcome Bama Hunter good to have you <laughs> hope you enjoyed yourself feel free to um, leave something in the chat um, of course if you want this you can always subscribe to the channel or follow the channel um, not only that you can also follow me on Twitter at Gamer Preach okay hey, bless you uh, from your thing named Bama Hunter, I guess you're a fan of the Alabama Crimson Tide. If not, the only the Bama Hunters I know are the ones that are from Auburn, because <laughs> they don't like Bama. <laughs> oh, all right. Wow. Bam with is dropping real good. Mm, yep, back to Vulcan Center. Um, wow, there's a galaxy uh, starship out here. Real small. 300 and some light years away. But it's a galaxy starship. Gale 2, USS Phantom, Wisp of Hope. <laughs> really? I like traveling through sector space right here. Awesome. That's Augustus. Kind of like that name. It's real nice. <laughs> the first true emperor of Rome. <laughs> it's the solar system. And go dock at Starbase right quick. 
day satisfaction guarantee on the prize. <laughs> That shit. That's nice. That's a, a lobster bisque. Really? Yeah, give us some. Give us some cold soup. <laughs> Thank you, ship after cold soup. That's cool. Wait a minute. That beautiful ship is named after what? Yeah, I'm coming in the dock, baby. Black USS Panther. You ready? <laughs> That's cool. Baby. That is so cool. Federation Science Vessel. This is looking at all these tags out here. Got the dump truck. So we're gonna dock. Dock at the station. And Checking off down the road. Okay, here we are. I'm back at the space dock. And here we go. So what I'm gonna do is go to the bank. Uh, somebody beat me to the bank. Put that on the kit on my science officer while I'm here. Okay. Oh. oh, I get skills too. I need to skill up right quick. So, should I do with skill or uh, is that deal with that skill or try to get more power? Condition alpha. Repeat. Condition alpha. I think I'm going to do energy weapon training right here. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to accept that. Put that up there. And can't do any specializations yet. Because it's only available when I become a vice admiral. Really? <sighs> really? Don't get that.
guess I gotta try to get that. Uh, uh, this is driving nuts. Kick her out too. She has no protection. to die right around here, do we? No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we're going to put that on. Stop for stuff in the bank.
will find the tailor. Did all that good stuff. Well, I hope you all had fun today and all that. Um, I see I got another one that joined, but I hope you all had fun. Uh, hopefully, I will be uh, back with you all tomorrow uh, for another time to do that. And another time to watch and uh, play. So, I tried to make easy, easy, and quite, quite do it. I'm going to have to figure out what it is as I progress further in the game. All right? And until next time, uh, I'll see you all later. Y'all be blessed. And this is Game of Preach. I'm out.